Hey everyone, I'm Aaron, and welcome to a Pokemon news and speculation video. If you're like me and logged into Pokemon Go this morning, you may have noticed that a new video has surfaced of the two professors, as well as a couple awesome stuff on the Pokemon YouTube channel. A lot of stuff was revealed, so let's just jump into it. So first things first, Meltan has been confirmed to have a new form, which is something that has been stirring quite a bit of controversy, on, especially on YouTube. So the first video we're gonna get into is called New Discovery, Rare Footage of Meltan in the Wild. And the thing about this video that intrigues me is it looks like a lot of production went into the creation of this video. It looks like it was very well planned. It shows this really cool little CGI Meltan kind of wandering around this person's house, uh, which makes me really jealous because only two Pokemon at a time show up in my house on Pokemon Go. That's not the most intriguing thing to me. The most intriguing thing to me is the fact that I think this video kind of confirms that Niantic purposely leaked Meltan into, their, into the programming. Uh, I know that a lot of people thought that the Meltan appearing right after Chikorita Community Day was enough proof to be like, oh, okay, this is intentional. But this video kind of makes it even more so because it shows this person doodling on a notepad all these notes. And it's funny because a lot of us have been kind of doing that in our brains since Meltan has been announced because not a lot of information was publicly known at the time. And so a lot of us thought, oh, okay, it was an accidental leak that became something, and some people even thought, like, this was a placeholder Pokemon that was never really meant to be canon, but is now canon, and so, like, the notes kind of follow all of our suspicions. But then at the end of this video, there's this cool part where a bunch of Meltan are sleeping in a, in a bundle, and then this giant shadow of its new form kind of pops up the end and it says like, oh, there are mysteries of Meltan still yet to be uncovered. And that confirms that Meltan has another form. Whether this form will be an evolution or simply a form change, kind of like we saw with Shaman, who knows? But it's really fascinating because it shows the shadow. Um, there have been some fan speculation uh, artwork kind of floating around on the internet. So there are some key elements to this video that I really want you guys to focus on. One of them is they are reactive to metal and they can absorb metal. And this is shown when one of them on the table breaks this fork. But it's, it's funny because the trainer baits them with a bunch of bolts on the table, which is really funny because, yeah. So this leads me to think that they're going to create a fusion Tons of the Meltan are going to fuse, and they're going to become this new form. And it's going to happen because the metal is going to fuse, and the bolts are somehow going to go into these nuts. Another really cool element to this video is the cries. Meltan's cry is in this video. And it makes me think that this new form of Meltan is going to be an extension because it sounds like he's saying Meltan when he fuses and creates this new form. <laughs> He could also be saying things like Meltar, maybe there's like a, the new form is going to be an evolution, but I think he's saying Meltan. Let me know in the comment section below what you think he's saying and if you think that this new form of Meltan is going to be an evolution or if it's going to be a new form, much like Shaman. The second video is the video that is the continuation of the two professors. So this video is presented to us as an update and it's uh, Meltan in the mystery box. And it's a really cool video because it's in the same style as the first episode but it's much longer. And they kind of like play, the two professors play off from each other in a really funny way that's very Pokemon, especially because there's quite a bit of content in the video that at first listen doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And it might frustrate a lot of trainers, but I thought it was kind of funny because it it's kind of reminiscent of the whole like GS ball and how like it just kind of fell off the face of the anime and they were hoping nobody would notice. Listen, I noticed. It irritated me. It kept me up at night. And they still haven't really... I know it was like a failed Celebi event and I should be over it by now, but I just can't get over it because they made such a big deal about it. And then they had that episode with the Quagsire and he stole the ball. Anyway, 
Um, so in the video, they, uh, Professor Oak has this mysterious box, and he sends it over to Professor Willow to investigate. And they found that the box opens and closes and has a very specific time set. So um, they once it opens, they have to wait. And uh, what's really funny is Professor Oak says something about it having a rusty piece of metal in the box and it ends up becoming this Meltan. There's this really cool animation where the box opens and smoke is out and then there's this little thing of, oh, a wild Meltan appeared, which kind of makes me jealous because I wish he'd just like appear and you can get him already, but that's just not the thing. So a couple pieces of information have surfaced alongside this video with the mystery box and it leads to some speculation. Some things have been kind of confirmed via Cerebi, so the mystery box adds this unique element where it kind of throws the two games in together and you have to use both of them to catch Meltan, which I think is fascinating because one of the things that the video with the two professors confirmed is that there are multiples of Meltan, which I think if combined will create this new form. So the mystery box is this really cool thing where when you transfer over your Pokemon from the Go games into the Let's Go games, you receive a box in the Go games. It opens for 30 minutes and you have a unique set of research tasks, just like the ones we've all dealt with to get Mew and Celebi and, you know, the legendary dogs. And for those 30 minutes you can catch um, the Meltan. So if you look at the screenshot, it shows the box having a timer on it, much like all of our timed items that we use. But the, the timer will go for the special uh, tasks. And once you catch Meltan, you can transfer it over to Let's Go, which I think is a really interesting thing. Um, Sarah B also confirms that Meltan is the 808th Pokemon. I know a lot of people had speculation that it was going, he was going to be Pokemon Zero, which is a unique placeholder for missing now. And a lot of people were thinking that that's how he was going to fit into the Kanto lore and into Generation One, which I'm kind of glad they didn't do that because missing now is so involved in the lore of the original games and the glitched out Gen One that I think if they would have made Meltan take its place, it kind of would have had this lackluster effect on a lot of the OG Pokemon gamers like myself. And so giving him the 808th slot is appropriate because it kind of gives us something to look forward to with Gen 8. There's also a huge debate on whether or not he's going to be a Gen 7 Pokemon or a Gen 8 Pokemon. I think he's a Gen 8 Pokemon. I think a lot of us can kind of agree on that because they have data mined the crap out of the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games and we haven't seen anything like Meltan in the programming. We haven't even seen a placeholder for 808. And um, it is confirmed that the eighth generation is going to be coming out on Switch, either sometime next year or early 2020. So I, I don't think that's the case. So one other video I'm gonna show you guys is really exciting uh, for a couple different reasons. So it was a 20 second clip that the Pokemon company put out about the Sinnoh region and the Gen 4 Pokemon coming to Go, which is really exciting. Gen 4 has Drifloom, which I don't know if you can tell from my background is possibly my favorite Pokemon, um, which I think would be cool if they had him being caught on like a Friday exclusive kind of thing. More information on that and po possibly a later video if you're a Drifloom fan. So the thing I like most about this video is they used snow terrain to announce Gen 4. And I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh yeah, it's because it's going to be coming out closer to Christmas. Which I, I definitely agree. I don't think that there was a rumor that it was coming out close to Halloween. I think they're definitely going to push it back till the end of November, early December, because November is kind of the month for Let's Go, and they don't want to take away from that. And I think October is way too soon. So a lot of people thinking that the videos have this snow terrain is because of Christmas. It's actually kind of a unique twist that I don't know if they planned this or if it happened coincidentally, but Gen 4 was the first generation to introduce snow. So it was a nice little nod to us Gen 4 players from the original back in 06, and I think it's, I think the way that they did that is just so perfect, and it's such a cool little 20 second trailer with really good graphics. Um, links to all these videos will be down in the description. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button, and if you want more videos from me, there's definitely going to be a lot of Let's Go videos popping up over the next couple weeks before the game comes out. I have a shiny speculation video coming up next. Um, 
If you want more of those videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell or whatever the hell that is. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.